Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you here today with Mark Hudson, a walnut grower in Chowchilla. Featured, if, if his face looks familiar, we featured him back on the cover of one of our issues uh, last year, Pacific Nut Producer. We interviewed uh, largely about uh, your investment in groundwater recharge, and what do you know? Back then, we, it was drought, and now we just come off of an, just a ton of storm systems that has brought so much water and so you were just building your recharge basin, and now you've been able to utilize it. So tell us a little bit about your success over the last uh, couple months, but also some of the challenges that you've had. Because there's a lot of farmers out there that are interested in, in recharge now and seeing what we can do to capture some of the storm water before it all you know, runs off. Right? I love what you, the point you made, too, in that we're essentially restoring the floodplains in the Central Valley that were here before, but doing it in a more controlled fashion. Correct. Yeah, that's what gave us our groundwater in the first place was the amount of snow melts coming down. And we've had a tremendous snow melt this year. We had a great snow event in 2017 and 19, a great snow event in 2010. So these events happen about twice a decade. And so by preparing my ground, I was able to receive district water, excess district water at $10 an acre foot, and put that on that 40 acre parcel. And I learned a lot by doing that. The east 20 acres took the most water. And of that east 20 acres, the first five checks, which is about four acres, took the most water. And so just by getting started and putting my toe into the water and trying it, uh, I learned quite a bit. And that was, I was able to do that because I pulled the trees out and that gave me that blank canvas to work with. It's difficult to put your water down uh, maybe a tree row like this one because maybe it's not leveled. Maybe the borders aren't very good. Maybe there's no flood valves. But when you take the trees out, you can do the flood system. You can do the leveling. You can, in my case, uh, there was barley I put in there. I could do the checks. So it wasn't that hard to do. It was pretty much normal practice except for the flood system and the leveling. I don't usually do that for trees. I was able to get a grant from the NRCS for, to help pay for the pipeline and help pay for the leveling. But I'm still out quite a bit of money, but I've learned a lot. And I think other growers should learn a lot too, because every farm is different. Uh, my farm is not your farm. And uh, you have sandy areas, I have broken hard pan areas that can take water. So we all need to do a little bit and we'll learn a lot. And I'm very proud of the growers in this county, Madera County, because what started out as just a few growers in 2017 has grown to a lot of growers starting to do recharge here in 2023. And from this event, the next time this rolls around, if it's next year or the year after or five years from now, seven years from now, there'll be more ground ready. But we need help because it's cost quite a bit of money in a bad almond year and a bad walnut year to, to do this. We have to figure out some incentives and some, some payment issues to, to make this happen because it benefits the whole. I mean, this place we're looking at right now where there's a huge recharge basin a farmer built, she's doing it because it's the right thing. And she's put a lot of her own money into it, but there's no way for her to really get credit back down the road, but just benefiting the whole. So. Yeah, not just uh, not just your next door uh, farming neighbors, but but also the communities, the right? Communities, the yeah, the cities, the county. It's all it's all going to help. And farmers have the ground; they have the methodology, the experience to work with the ground, to lay the pipe. They can do it quickly. It doesn't have to take a lot of study or a lot of time. But it's an economic issue also, and it'd be nice to figure that one out either amongst. The, the government or the farmers or the combination of both. Yeah, so basically your ask to um, government agencies would be, you know, like, thank you for the funding that you've received, but but we need more because this program, you know, recharging water, the groundwater supply is something that's worth investing in, and, and you need support for that, right? It's so important because by recharging, we'll improve the water quality. If you're worried about nitrates, it'll lower the nitrates. It'll lessen the pumping cost because we're pumping from a shallow aquifer so the greenhouse gases are less. Um, these areas that we have, like mine, that I'm probably going to leave as recharge will eventually turn into habitat 
um, just because I'm not going to use it for anything else. But right now, what we need from the federal government, just let us work on recharge. Don't add on different things like habitat, cover crop, whatever it might be. But let us just concentrate on recharge. The NRCS has a great program, and I'm really thankful for them. We'd like to have more uh, help with removing those trees because when you spend that much money removing trees, you need to find some business way to get that back. And usually we plant more trees. <laughs> but if we want to pull back and make but recharge not areas, plant trees right away, if, yeah. we not, if we want to slow down and not plant trees, we do need some incentive. It's a terrible year for farming, but we really appreciate the water. And we really appreciate agencies like the NRCS that are easy to work with and not a whole lot of layers. But it has been expensive personally, sure. Well, thank you so much, Mark, you know, for, for your passion and groundwater recharge, your example uh, to other farmers, and also being real, because it's not easy. <laughs> uh, and that's what farming is. So we're not just farming uh, uh, crops anymore. We're farming water, water as well. We yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for taking the time. Read more about it in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.